Hey everybody. Well, interesting news coming out last night about the iPhone 4S. And this has relevance to me. Because, as you may be aware, I use an iPhone 4 to uh, record this. And the iPhone, basically with iPhones, when they have an S, I just think S stands for sucker. Because they don't normally have anything uh, groundbreaking or anything that really makes it worth getting the S version if you've got the one before. Like I had the iPhone 3 uh, G, but I never got the S. I just went, oh wait, you didn't got the 4. Um, and I would say the same thing with the uh, new iPhone S. 4S. Uh, but the video on it looks amazing. Um, the only thing is, is it wide angle? Because basically, uh, I could really do with wide angle. And in fact, I'm looking at some of these third party wide angle lenses you can get. to see if it would help a bit but they, none of them look particularly amazing if I'm honest but um, yeah it's uh, I'm going to have to my phone contract doesn't end until July next year I think it's June or July um, it's basically two years from when the iPhone 4 came out um, is it two years? no on a, am I on 18 months or a two year contract? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah. I'm going to be very interested to um, see some of the video, sort of real, real life video rather than what Apple shows you. I mean, it's like, oh yes, look at this video. If you've seen the like, keynote speech, look at this video. And it's like, yeah, that's been, you, but you've mounted the camera on a gimbal on the perfect day with the perfect light. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Um, I have been uh, looking at other POV cameras and I'm not sure if I've said this before, but basically I find that every one of them has a problem. Um, the Drift Stealth. Uh, I like that camera. But at the same time, it's a camera stuck out on the side of your head. Which is really obvious. With my setup, uh, you, don't, you won't even notice I've got a camera on me, to be honest. Um... The GoPro doesn't have an external mic port, as far as I'm aware. And I'll also note that they're like about 300 quid plus. Um, I mean, the other one was said on the uh, Vio POV Sony camera. Obviously, uh, that is an extremely good camera, but I think that's why. <laughs> It's like far for grand, I think. I might be all the grand now. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to um, stick with the iPhone 4 for now. Maybe see if I can find one of these wide-angle lenses, which is quite good. If the one exists. Um, as, basically, I think it's amazing that I can use my phone for this. Because I, quite, I, I will give a basic explanation of my setup because a few people have asked me. Basically, it's an iPhone 4 in a case mounted to my chest using a bag of some sort, a rucksack, and I have a microphone of sorts which is built in some way into my helmet with natural wind 
um, buffering. Buffering? That's not the right word. Buffering? Natural wind protection, okay, that's simple. I can't think of the word. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I use. And it does seem to work quite well. The only downside is in my early videos. I'm just going to close my voice up. No, no, I'm, going to trust, I'm trusting my wind buffering. <laughs> um, in my early videos you might notice that the angle was somewhat lower than it should have been. Uh, and hopefully now I've solved that problem. Although I did do a small section of a video and got back to looking at it. And turns out it was just a picture of the sky. So I'm hoping it's not done that one again. But that's just down to the way that it is chest mounted basically. That's why I can have hands free. Uh, it also helps for shock absorption. So yeah, um, it's really interesting to see what happens with the iPhone 4 S. But I still think the S stands for sucker.